We finally got the long-awaited news. Matt Roloff has announced his engagement to Karen Chandler. This love story has been developing over the years since Matt's divorce. Everything has happened just right. The engagement and the progress of Matt and Karen's dream home. But there are negatives to the events taking place. Matt discarded much of his former life, losing his children to build his future with Karen. He and Karen spent half a decade planning their perfect dream home. They've had several setbacks, but recently made great strides quickly. There are points that I would like to be happier with, but questions arise. For example, in the pictures Matt posts, you can't see the foundation and load-bearing walls of the house. Matt is so passionate about building and achieving the Matt of his perfect home that he values it more than his relationship with his children. And most importantly, Matt decided to do this when he already had a house built for little people. The new mansion is too huge for two single people to live there. Certainly Matt has driven more than one wedge between himself and his adult children. Some things may be on the man, but some will never be the same again. Matt has caused a rift in the family by reneging on promises to turn the farm over to his sons. And somehow it's strange that he is building a big mansion on the same farm he has no intention of handing over to his family. Matt is an older man who has a disability. Karen is close to his age. Still, it's a massive house for two people, and it's a house that still needs to be maintained. Even if the whole house is perfectly adjusted for the little man with Matt's particular disability, there may be problems in the future. Hopefully, Matt will continue to have the financial means to pay for the house's upkeep. If not, a big house in the middle of the farmland, explicitly built for little people, will be hard to sell. Still, the house itself is already an impressive sight. In just one month, it has gone from a single wooden wall to a complete skeleton structure of a huge house. Seeing more about the house and the construction process on the Little People Big World show will be interesting. So the best we can do right now is just to keep watching. Until then, thanks for watching, folks. Have a nice day, subscribe to channel, like the video if you like, and see you soon in the next video, of course. Bye for now!